Bulginaka, do you know that cybercrime is becoming a growing problem in Fiji? Cybercrime is defined as a crime in which a computer is the object of the crime, such as hacking and spam. Cybercrime is also cyberbullying and using fake profiles to cause panic and spread false news. If you're involved in this or know anyone who's committing these crimes, report them immediately. I'm Polly. And I'm Peter. We host the Traffic Jam Show on City FM. From 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. every weekday. Do, do the, the right, right thing. In this bulletin, Ministry of Ready for COVID-19 Vaccines. Police to monitor students. And employers committed to economic recovery. From the studios of FBC Suva, Goroi Tandula. The year 13 students will have extra week to prepare for the new school term. The Education Ministry has announced that year 13 students will begin classes from February 8th. This as the provisional examination results will be released by January 31st and the extra week will give year 13 students time to prepare themselves for the 2021 academic school year. Permanent Secretary for Education Angela Jokin says students opting for a recount and or remark of the exam results can do this during the 30 days provisional period. The ministry once again urges students to make prior arrangements for their e-transport card before Tuesday to avoid any travel inconvenience. The police force has plans to monitor hotspots where bullying and truancy involving students occur. Cases at the Suva bus stand were highlighted late last year and Chief of Operations ACP Abdul Khan says they will remain vigilant. ACP Khan says additional officers were deployed to these hotspots last year. In 2021, the force will also rely on technology. We are going more proactive on that. And having said that, we are also relying on our technology. As you can see behind me, there are cameras that uh, they monitor all those areas as well in the uh, city and also a couple of other towns and cities as well where they monitor. And also looking at internet and cafes uh, that the kids are there as well uh, after school. Uh, we are also looking into that as well. The Ministry of Health is prepared to handle the COVID-19 vaccine from its procurement to the actual vaccination process. Health Minister Dr. Ifremi Wanganembete says they will ensure the vaccine reaches the furthest parts of Fiji. Dr. Wanganembete adds they have completed training staff who will be carrying out the groundwork and will soon begin registering people to ensure right ones get vaccinated. After we done the vaccination program, we are going to go overseas. Then, uh, you know, we can actually say we have the right person to come. The Fiji Commerce and Employers Federation says it's exploring all possible avenues to assist our struggling economy battered by COVID-19 in the recent TC Yasa. Chief Executive Kameli Batiweti says the responsibility to heal the economy does not fall only on the government's shoulders and requires input from the private sector and civil society organizations. He adds these three arms play an equally important role in rejuvenating national growth. It's all about building bridges, new bridges, and fortifying the old bridges uh, just to ensure the sustainability of the uh, economy going forward. Eh? Project Heaven Trust believes teachers play a critical role in the health and well-being of a student. General Manager Dr. Kitione Rawalai says they've been working with the Education Ministry, visiting almost every school, conducting awareness and sight and hearing tests. Dr. Rawalai adds they also show teachers how to prevent the risk of a student contracting trachoma. The, the teachers commented, I had to teach because... When we went there, one of the preventative steps that we do is to train the teachers in the early identification of trachoma and other diseases. So these are the ones that took heed of our advice, and then we, when we come back the next time, they can tell us that it has gone down. In overseas, lawmakers in the United States are now looking ahead to a Senate trial of outgoing President Donald Trump, who was impeached for the second time yesterday. Up ahead... New Deal and Club for Sharky and Young Boxers Graduate. Namaki Kira and 
dan ramai nasi ngabok. Olympian Masive Sindakwanga will be joining a new club in the new season. Dakwanga was impressive at Open Side Flanka and also on the wing for Toulon in the French Top 14 competition last year. Speaking exclusively to FBC Sports from France, Dakwanga says he has recently signed his two year contract with Montpellier and is keen on joining his new club. And me, the offer came to me, was, came early last year, uh, September. And uh, Montpellier uh, want me to sign them for two years, so I so I agree with them. So I will join them in the next two seasons. Forty young boxers graduated from Boxing Fiji's first ever kids program, where aspiring boxers learned key aspects and basic skills. Boxing Fiji development manager Carson Young says the program has achieved its goal in terms of introducing boxing at a young age. Young says he was impressed with the turnout, especially as there were more female participation. We were able to at least uh, get a uh, equity actual number of. Uh, female participants. So as you probably would have witnessed, we got a lot of uh, uh, young girls that, uh, you know, experience the sport. Young Ed's the Federation is looking to organize more kids' programs during school holidays. Three more events planned for the year after a successful 2020 Fiji National Chess Championship. The championship, which ended two days ago, attracted 26 players who played nine rounds over five days with some games lasting more than three hours. Fiji Chess Federation President Hilda Vuki Komoala says they may take some tournaments to other parts of the country this year. For Fiji Chess Federation, we have an upcoming tournament in the West and we look forward to hosting many tournaments Fiji-wide. Hopefully this year we'll host one in the North. A British tennis player has defied doctors' predictions to qualify for the main draw of the Australian Open in Melbourne. Francesca Jones is missing fingers on both hands and toes on both feet, but that hasn't stopped her from reaching a first-ever Grand Slam. A drop of low pressure remains slow moving to the southwest of the group. Associated cloud and showers affect the southern parts of the country. And that's FBC News Now. Join us at 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. For news you can trust, get the facts from FBC's TV, radio and digital news at fbcnews.com.fj. Take care and good afternoon. हमारे खूबसूरत देश फीजी में चाइल्ड अब्यूज की घटनाएं आए दिन बढ़ रही हैं। क्यों बच्चों का मासूम बचपन अब्यूज का शिकार हो जाता है अपने बच्चों की सुरक्षा का खास ख्याल रखें। उनसे बातचीत करें उनके दोस्तों के बारे में जानें। आज के बच्चे देश का भविष्य है मैं दीप्ति और मैं मोनिश आपके हम सफर शामिल हो जाए हमारे साथ मंडे टू फ्राइडे फाइव फोर्टी फाइव तक रेडियो फीजी टू देश की धड़कन आरोप